And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The New York Football Jets, man. They are a very intriguing team. The way they've built their squad through the draft, through free agency, it's been amazing. But you and I both know it all comes down to one thing. That is Zach Wilson. Disclaimer though. Had your wife. Now, no, Zach Wilson didn't set the world on fire as a rookie, but I don't think he was too bad. He showed a lot of glimpses and promise, and I mean, how can you not be excited about the sheer arm talent he possesses, plus the ability to scramble out and extend plays and make something out of nothing. However, Zach Wilson is especially deadly on Madden 23 as they gave him some new abilities. He, the first one he has is Milf Hunter, and uh, <laughs> you guys can read that one for yourself. The second one, dogging him. He got hurt in preseason. It was feared to be a torn ACL, and he beat those allegations. And then last but not least, he has Hot Mom Master where he knows where to find all of the Hot Moms in your local area. So guys, I can't stress this enough. Had your wife. And in the second round, the Jets decided to go with Brees Hall, running back out of Iowa State. He was mine and a lot of other people's RB1 in this draft as well. So to get him in the second round, I think the value there was spot on. And he's most likely going to be RB1 for them in real life right away and will be for me in this entire video, hopefully. Still have Michael Carter as well, who they chose last season. Actually went up to star now, which is quite nice to see. However, he is not the only Michael Carter on this team. The best part about it, though, is that the cornerback Michael Carter went to Duke and the running back Michael Carter went to UNC. Of of course, those two schools have quite the rivalry, so it's just funny how they both ended up on the Jets. <laughs> Wide receivers and Corey Davis is cool for like another year or so. But the main man, of course, Elijah Moore, who they chose, I believe, in the second round last season. Let's go ahead and make a wide receiver one immediately. Now, he did miss a few games due to injuries, but I think if anybody watches Elijah Moore, you can just tell he's going to be a good player. If him and Zach Wilson could just get on the same page and build more chemistry, I mean... Could be a very scary duo in this league. But can it be more scary than the almighty Wilson to Wilson duo? Of course, Garrett Wilson, who they chose number 10 overall in 2022, and the Jets absolutely killed the draft, so I'm probably going to say that a lot. And I mean, Garrett Wilson's just a great player, right? He's going to come in and be good immediately. Super polished, great athleticism, great size, good speed, good route running, good hands. I mean, he is very good. Very, very good. So let's see how special Wilson and Wilson could be. Do I make him my wide receiver too right away? I think so. I think so. Shout out to the big man, CJ Uzoma. Is it Uzoma or Uzoma? I actually have no idea. <laughs> this offensive line, it's not bad. It's actually quite good, but the sad news is Makai Becton, unfortunately, has gotten hurt again. Becton will be missing the entire season, and it's, it's just so sad, man, because whenever he is on the field, he is so, so special, and... It also kind of puts the Jets in a weird situation too, where can you fully trust him moving forward because he's going to need a new contract soon. He's going to demand money because he knows how good he is when he is on the field. So it's a tough one, man. But of course, injuries are off for these rebuilds. So let's see him shine. AVT, Elijah Vera Tucker, one of the best interior offensive linemen in last year's draft. And he honestly lived up to the hype. He was really good year one. Biggest addition of the O-line was the vet, Lakin Tomlinson, who should be pretty familiar with his scheme, with his time working under Robert Salah and San Francisco. Francisco, so he should fit in seamlessly. Um, before we go to the defense, I don't know what I'm hearing right now, but it sounds like it sounds kind of like a goat. <laughs> defense, defense, defense. And now in year number two under Robert Sala, um, I expect this side to be a lot better than what they were in year one. Started off with this D-line, man. It's solid all the way around, and you know what? I forgot they got this freaking guy too. Jermaine Johnson. One of the top edge rushers in last year's draft and he was projected to go top 10 top 15 at the lowest he was sitting there at 24 and the jets have saw they saw enough they saw enough they traded right up grabbed him and i mean what can i say that is just incredible value and business and i feel like i should be starting him as well because he does have that hidden development so you know what i think i'm gonna do a little something like this as we move john franklin myers inside a defensive tackle and now jermaine johnson could be our starting left end and speaking about him john franklin myers an overlooked player i think a very very solid option in this league however the main man had you bless you thank you uh character things Oh, bless Thank you that I got here, so. The GOAT, of course, Quinnen Williams, who is so, so good and is still just 24 years old, but he is now heading into year number four, and I would not be surprised if he took that giant leap up and really started to get his name mentioned with some of the best interior defensive linemen in the league. Expect a big breakthrough season for Big Q. All right, all right, for this next one, I dare you to sneeze, bless yourself, and then thank yourself while getting interviewed. <laughs> Not that cute. And of course, Carl Lawson, their big money signing last season, who we unfortunately were not able to see as he was hurt for the entire year. So 
seems to be a reoccurring theme here on the Jets. <laughs> they they got some pretty bad luck. I won't even lie, but he should hit the ground running. Very, very good player. And I like uh, the contract they got him on. And him alongside these other defensive linemen under Robert Sala. It's going to be scary to face the Jets in the trenches. Picked up DJ Breed in the offseason, and I think it's a solid acquisition. I think he's a good corner in the league. They also have Bryce Hall, who I'm a big fan of. And uh, hold up. So you're telling me they got Bryce Hall and then Brees Hall, of course, Michael Carter and another Michael Carter, Zach Hotmom, Master Wilson and Garrett Wilson, Corey Davis and Ashton Davis, who I haven't even gotten to yet. And last but not least, Quinnen Williams and Quincy Williams. I'm just, I'm just going to apologize right now in advance in case I do confuse any names up. My head kind of a little messed up right now because I got hit really hard in a preseason game. <clears throat> Taking it to the sidelines, and he gets hit out of bounds. Pop I think I'm good to carry on with the uh, defense again. And, of course, with the number four overall pick, the Jets decided to go with Ahmad Sauce Gardner. Did you guys know that he has never given up a touchdown before? <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know that. On the real, though, Sauce is great. He was arguably the best cornerback prospect in last year's draft alongside Stingley. And, I mean, he just has it all. Great size, great speed, good instincts, and... Did you know he's never given up a time? Now, but for real, hopefully we're going to get him an island alongside Darrell Revis because every wide receiver he's going to be on is going to be like... Marcus Joyner, old, which is why I will be starting Ashton Davis. They, of course, added Jordan Whitehead in the offseason as well, and a very good sneaky pickup by them. I mean, he was the starting safety for a Super Bowl winning team just a few years ago. And linebackers are a bit rough. CJ Mosley's a little old now. They picked up Quan Alexander now, and then Quinn, Qu Qu I'm, I'm sorry, my head's still a little messed up. Overall, this team is super young, super exciting, and are they ready for the playoffs yet? I'm not too sure. I think they have the upside too, most definitely. But realistically, I think maybe another year or two to build out this squad a little more to get these young players developed. And we could really be looking scary and looking to make some noise. So you know what? Let's get it on. And at mid-season, we are going to be 4-3. and three. Okay, not too bad. Actually tied joint top of the division with the Patriots there. Very tough division, but... We're doing well. Scouting national focus is going to be on outside linebacker. I, we, like I said, we need to upgrade that linebacking group. And this class has some good ones. As you can see, one of the biggest strengths is actually left outside linebacker. We can go check out the hidden developments because I'm actually... Okay, never mind. And then for the defense, Sauce is only a star. Wow, that is surprising because in previous years, usually the top cornerbacks are given superstar development, but him and Stingley are only star. We saw it with Sertan last year, and then the year before that, I believe Okuda and CJ Henderson were superstar. Sauce better than both of them. <laughs> Players who need a contract, 30-year-old George Fant, old. McGovern's a decent center, but we know we could easily replace that in the draft. Greg the Legs Zerla, no, I mean, no. Bryce Huff, decent player, still young, but unfortunately it's kind of fallen down the depth chart a little bit, but maybe we get him back. Fawn out, no. Why is his name so blurry to me? Joe Flat Goat. Oh, but the real goal is Rashad Wild Goose. Let's go to week 11 where we can private work out some people and we got a big game here against the Patriots, joint top of the division. We lose. Buffalo Bills, another big game. Okay, now, we're, now that I'm simming, we're choking. And just like that, we're on the bottom of the division now. Looks like we got some decent middle linebackers as well. I'm going to put it on Tavon Sturgeon here and then Nathan Pippen. Wow, and then the left tackles are looking really good. This guy's going top five, though. He looks pretty insane. There's a lot of round one tackles here. Look at this guy. Mike Lowry out of Tennessee. A, awareness. A, B, B there. Do I just do him and try to see his rating? Why not? Why not? And then before we head to the end of the season, we actually have a game against the Patriots here. If we could win this, this would be massive. So I'm absolutely praying for it. Oh my god! And we unfortunately missed out on the playoffs, but we did finish with a 9-8 and eight record, which is quite promising in year one. Check out some stats, see how we did. Okay, the offense was terrible. I did not change any playbooks. Won't be doing that for the first two or three seasons. Defense was mid. Zach Wilson almost had 4,200 yards, only 24 touchdowns, and then 12 picks, 64% completion rate. I mean... Not quite the year two leap we were hoping for, but uh, we got nine wins. <laughs> Breach Hall was all right. He had a lot of yards, 1,200 there. A lot of carries, though. Only 3.8 carry. 12 touchdowns is nice. Shout out Michael Carter chipping in with eight there. Elijah Moore broke 1,069. Eight touchdowns for him. Braxton, how did you get up in the depth chart, Barrios? Wait, what? Corey, how was Corey Davis pushed down? Corey Davis is actually right here. Wait, he's wide receiver three. So how did Braxton bury it? 
Wait, what? Guys, I think Zach Wilson's just raced. Yeah, I'm not too sure how Braxton Barrios almost broke a thousand yards, but you know what? So be it. Uzoma was kind of good. 800 yards there, two touchdowns for him. Garrett Wilson, five touchdowns, 736 yards in year one. Defense, CJ Mosley leads the way with tackles made there with 133. 15 TFLs in his rookie year. Jermaine Johnson have a year, my boy. Quinn and Williams, John Franklin Myers with 10 each. Their sack numbers, nine for Quinn and Williams, seven and a half there for Franklin Myers. Jermaine Johnson up here as well. He might win defensive rookie of the year with those stats. DJ Reed Jr., quite good. Sauce Gardner, two picks will take it. Quinn. Two. League MVP is Matthew Stafford. And I mean, what a resume he has already in two years with the Rams. Is there a chance? Zach Wooden now. Absolutely not. And offensive rookie of the year went to Sky Moore. Brees Hall was actually number two, though. Quite nice to see Garrett Wilson there at number five. But defensive rookie of the year, Jermaine Johnson. Kair Elam in our division wrong team where is jermaine Johnson? number four mcduffie devin lloyd ahead of him there okay okay sauce number seven as well michael on when was actually best online online rule would have blessed him but unfortunately not me because we got nothing devies 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 first year what can we see offensively garrett wilson is a star Brees hall is a star nothing here on offense offense was trash to be fair though defense wasn't though I don't think we got anything though other than um Quinn Q Willie Q Willie and my god the Super Bowl was insane. Packers win. No Devontae Adams, no problem. 49, 44, beating out the Chargers there. Super Bowl MVP, none other than Aaron Rodgers. I mean, can we get this type of score line in real life? Because that would be amazing. Because I always bet the overs. <laughs> back to the contracts here. Is there anybody I'd like to bring back? Yes. You know what, Mike White? Get your bag, my guy. I ain't even mad. <laughs> yeah, other than him, though, not really. Not really. But we do have almost 44 mil here to spend in free agency, and I will not hesitate to use some of my staff points in the free agency section as well to enhance our chances at getting some of these players if we really want them. Um, Tremaine Edmonds here would be would actually be a massive addition to our linebacker group. Won't even lie. Odell Beckham would be fun. L in Jenkins would be amazing. Rob Havenstein. Yeah, we got some good names here. Some good names here for sure. Ooh, for the Super Bowl chase now, it looks like we are playoff contenders that's better than what we were before i think i'm gonna go in for elton jenkins i'm gonna do player friendly might lower it just a tiny bit because it is a lot of money but he's definitely gonna be worth it at probably right tackle we can move okay maybe that's too much <laughs> but like i was saying maybe move mr makai becton a left tackle which i believe he was going to play this season before of course getting hurt all right that's good and then tremaine edmonds have you guys ever seen that meme of tremaine edmonds where it's like people at 25 years old some people are buying a house others are getting married others are making memes others are doing nothing and then Tremaine Edmonds is like I'm in my ninth year in the NFL because he got drafted so freaking young <laughs> I'm gonna give him a four-year deal here it looks like he's just gonna go where the money is talking and for now well, for right now it's us baby tell you what we do need a new kicker though <laughs> seven year deal absolutely wait hold up can't you do like some eval thing yeah someone in my last rebuild commented this and shout out to you whoever that was I think we can just press left stick unfortunately my left stick is kind of broken so I kind of have to like spam it players have evaluated submitted offers and it looks like we got Tremaine Edmonds and Elwin Jenkins. However, the biggest one I wanted still hasn't accepted. I can't tell if I'm pressing it. Blanket chip, let's freaking go. Yeah, I actually kind of love that. You don't have to skip a week or anything. That's pretty cool. We do got some more private workouts, but we can, of course, go check out the dudes. We already scouted this guy's round one to do. Then I believe I did two middle linebackers. Who's going to be the partner in crime? Tremaine, I... Oh, they're both 80. He's got all right ratings. Elite speed. Strength is poor, though. A, awareness. B, man. A, zone. B, tackle. A, hit power. A, impact block. He actually looked quite good, though. I'm not going to lie. A to B, catching. That, that doesn't really matter, but you know, it's nice. <laughs> Guess I'll do him again. And then I think I need to do some offensive linemen because we did lose our center and we got to replace him. And the centers in this class actually kind of suck <laughs> i've seen everything niles burgess right guard out of texas tech why not all right ladies and gentlemen let's head to the draft where we are gonna have pick number 15 17 17 seahawks first pick lines and then the cardinals at number three wow i think i did a middle line oh he's kind of trash you really still can't see your picks over here with my pick at 17 i think i want to go ahead and just take this left guard who we will be moving in the center got him 90 percent scouted looks pretty solid all the way around however he's going around one and two so i wonder if i could do a little trade down magic 
Ooh, pass block finesse is dog. What in the And I absolutely love this trade package from the Packers. Now, I'm moving all the way down to 32. The guy was about 17 spots down the board, so that would be 15 away. So it would be a little scary, but if we don't get him, we could just grab someone else. But they're giving me a future first-round pick in 2024 as well. Rodgers, of course, just he's going to keep going down. He's really old now. I know they just won the Super Bowl, but... If we can get any type of regression, we're going to have a really good pick next year. And now we're pick 32. We won the Super Bowl, baby. <laughs> Real question is, though, is our guard still there? He is. Okay. Clark Coleman going to be my guy out of Virginia. We're going to move him inside the center, and he's going to be starting there right away, and everything should be good. We got a first-round pick as well, and he's hidden development. I couldn't have written that any better, man. I'll take that all day long. Ooh, into round two now. And this Mike Lowry dude is still here who we uh, private worked out and got him 100%. Doesn't look too bad, but we, of course, do have Elton Jenkins now. We do have Makai Becton. So our tackles, they're kind of set up for the future, you know? Absolutely no linebackers here. Any left outside linebackers still available to my... No, no, okay. Let me check something really quick. Holy crap, but he's only got a year left after this. So I'm, I think I'm going to go with that left tackle. 17 mil? And instead of having to worry about replacing Lake and Tomlinson when his deal expires next season, we're just going to have Mike Lowry right in behind him. He's going to be sitting out this year, just learning from all the vets. And if we can get him at Hidden Development as well with our center, things would be looking tasty. Hidden Development. That is what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Our trenches are so, so good. Only 21 years old as well. I mean, yeah, you can just sit for a year and be a sponge. Round three now, right? And look at Terrence Fowler, cornerback out of Florida as well. C man coverage, A to C press, but B zone coverage. Not bad attributes to have here as a round three to four projection. His ratings aren't too great, but you know, it's kind of just a flyer. It's a it's a flower. Huh? That, next flower? <laughs> what? Recap of the draft. We had a pretty good one, in my opinion. 73 overalls for both our first two choices on the offensive line. Not too bad at all. Fowler, actually 72. Not bad. If he was hidden dev, that would have been beautiful. They got me a nice little um, outside linebacker later on. 69 overall as well. CISO Knox. Love it. Well, why we had so many six round picks. Hello? Wait, we had like literally seven. <laughs> Go ahead and check out the class as a whole though. Number one guy, 78 edge. Go into the Seahawks. Looks decent. Matthew Jones. His head in development trait is a superstar. Seahawks, you did yourself well. Highest overall in the class is him as well, though. And there are a few other 78 overalls. A tight end that went number six. Shaheem Moore or Monroe. Where'd I see more? I don't know. Out of Oregon State as well. Shout out to the Beavers. This guy looks like a baller. Giants just got themselves the next Kyle Pitts. Wow. Who is this center? I thought all the centers were trash. This guy's kind of nice. 75 overall went in the second round as well. I could have easily went this guy instead of my left guard. He is only star, so he's, he can't be any better than my left guard, to be fair. Hopefully next season when we Sims, the price will be money, baby. Let's go. Why does it do that? Like, what, what's the reasoning for this? Year number two now, this is how the squad is looking. Moved around the O-line a little bit. Makai Becton's now at left tackle. Of course, the guard we chose at center. I debated moving Jenkins into center because Jenkins, Elton Jenkins, and kind of, he can play wherever he wants in the O-line, to be honest with you, but we paid him as a tackle, so let's have him at tackle. You know what I'm saying? Everything else remains untouched. Zach Wilson, let's take another jump, baby. I won't be changing playbooks, though. Same playbooks. And after this year, we'll see what happens. Moved Mosley outside, and we have LeBron James. Nope, Luke James. Doesn't look like a Luke. And actually, let me make Garrett Wilson wide receiver two real quick because we definitely want him to get the reps. And let's also, of course, make Mr. Sauce Gardner, CB1, Bryce, Brees, Braid, whatever his name is, Hall, CB2. And I think we good. So I sent him to week three to do the regional focus scouting thing, and we're currently one on one. And. We now have a breakout DB. And at midseason, we are 2-5, and five, bottom of the division. All right, what the heck? I think I've had enough. Let's change this scheme up. And shout out to my boy, Gervito. <laughs> I don't know if he's Italian. I don't <laughs> he's been testing out all the playbooks and seeing which one is best. And it looks like Raiders offense and then Ravens defense were the best that he found. Scheme fit, vertical zone run, base 4-3. Let's try it out. Raiders offense and Ravens defense. And now hopefully we can be... Uh, Better than two and five. <laughs> Players up for a contract though in his big Q. Thank you. He's very interested in rejoining though, so that's lovely. Carl Lawson already here as well, 28 years old now. Isn't he a TikToker? Corey Davis can probably walk and we'll try to sign a replacement either in the draft or free agency. Mekki Bex, of course we do want him back, superstar dev, and he's interested in rejoining. Jordan Whitehead, Ashton Davis, we'll see about this safety pairing. Didn't Denzel Mims request a trade in real life? Oh wow, he's actually got a few green interests around the league. Okay. Let's do the Bears. Bears have a freaking Derwin James now. What the heck? And Odell, what's going on over there? Four. Future four. Fifth round pick. Sixth round pick? 
Yeah, just take him. I don't even care anymore. I'm gonna do a player friendly deal for Big Q. We just, we want him back at all costs, honestly. Carl Lawson, I'm away on the end of the season to see how he does. Bryce Hall, on the other hand, let's up his deal a little bit. Four years, he's excited to stay. And then Makai Becton, I think we just gave him a massive deal right now. He's only gonna keep improving at a high rate with that superstar dev. So this is probably gonna be the cheapest we're gonna be able to get him. We should have some, we only got two hiddens, but one of them was a starter, our center. If he's a starter, you're not gonna see this. Uh, probably gonna put that in now. <laughs> Go to week 11. Of course, Sim the game's already there. Week 8, Dolphins. Okay, we gave up 49. Bills are 2-5. and five. We're 2-6, and six, though, so we can't really say anything. But if we win here, we did get a breakout wide receiver, though. As long as it's Elijah Moore or Garrett Wilson, I will be happy. It's Elijah Moore. Please, Elijah Moore. We won. 25-21. Thank you, breakout player Elijah Moore. I'm proud of my performance today, coach, but it wasn't up to my... He just did me so... I thought he got it, bro. I actually thought he got it. Oh my goodness. The number one guy in this class, this cornerback, looks unbelievable. Only 5'11", but A catching, B press, B to D... I mean, I guess we don't know what his man is yet, but A zone, incredible athlete. Imagine this guy alongside Sauce, bro. Don't think I won't. I will trade up if I have to. Last year, we saw the Giants get a superstar X-Factor tied in in the top six. This guy's around 10-ish. And he looks pretty insane. Aiden White here. Incredible ratings all around. 6-4 out of the U. Ratings aren't the best. Strength is very bad. Poor to marginal there. Quite concerning. But I mean, his attributes look incredible. I actually did put my tier 2 scout on um, tight ends though. Look at this guy. Aiden Barton. It looks like the Aidens are just very good at tight end A, B, B, B there. All the way in round 2 to 3 as well. This guy, Lloyd Inzerma. In looks quite decent as well, you know. Aiden Barton's ratings are actually pretty good as well everything is pretty much good to great Lionel Jordan this dude's literally Lionel Messi and Michael Jordan that might be the greatest athlete of all time <laughs> yeah I'll slap one on Aiden Barden Emilio Ruiz outside linebacker Oklahoma a pursuit a tackling a zone coverage I'm in Kurt Lowry potential undrafted talent <laughs> playoff time now and there was a slim chance yeah we we just finished with five wins um not great it was a rough start at two and five but dang five wins is Terrible. This division actually was all terrible. <laughs> Who in the world is Antoine Murphy, bro? What in the world? I bet you anything in the world he's on the Buccaneers. Well, the Dolphins actually made the playoffs at 9 and 8. Why can't we just finish 9 and 8 again? Why can't we just finish 9 and 8 again? Okay, offense was pretty bad. 25th. Zach Wilson, I'm gonna need you, my guy. I'm gonna. Hey, Gervito, what, what is with these? <laughs> Zach Wilson, 4,500 yards, 27 touchdowns, 17 picks. So uh, yards went up, touchdowns went up a little, picks went up a little, completion percentage went down. We only have five wins now, so you're on the hot seat now, hot mom master. Brees Hall, really good though. 1,256 yards, over four carry at 4.3, and then 16 touchdowns. Big year from Brees Hall, superstar. And a nice year from Elijah Moore, 1,227 yards, seven touchdowns for him. Corey Davis, 1,000 yards. Why? I want Garrett Wilson to be... Garrett Wilson is in the slot. He's wide receiver two. And how is Corey Davis still outperforming him? I don't know. Two touchdowns for him only as well. Uzoma with eight touchdowns there. Shout out to him. Braxton Barrios got humbled. And then defense-wise, for whatever reason, went down. Even though I added in Tremaine Edmonds, who led the way for tackles made. Tremaine Johnson, 19 tackle for losses. Oh my goodness. 17 there for Quinn Williams. 14 for Carl Lawson, who also... Had 13 sacks. I might have to bring him back. You know what I'm saying? 10 and a half. Quinn Williams, a lot of sacks. Okay, Ravens playbook might be that guy. Eight for John Franklin Myers there. Picks three for DJ Reed Jr. Ashton Davis as well. Not bad, but we were bad. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, our my team ranks are just dead. Literally dead. The Raiders made the super... Okay, Raiders... Okay, Pack... Oh, no, we have the Packers pick. Dude, what's with the Packers? Packers playbook? <laughs> Falcons playbook? <laughs> super Bowl... Or, what am I saying? MVP of the league is Desmond Ritter in year two at a 76 overall and a 13 and led his team to a 13 and 4 freaking record. Goodness me. Dude, I told you. I told you he was on freaking the Bucks, man. Um, yeah, we had absolutely nothing in the awards section. We were just there to watch like a spectator. So that's kind of sad. Lowry still doesn't have his thing. This offense looks quite nice with everyone being a star, but they also kind of suck still. So who really knows? Defense, Tremaine Edmonds up to superstar. Okay, and Ashton Davis. Definitely got to bring him back now. I was really hoping for either a Carl Lawson or a Jermaine Johnson, but these two, I'm pretty happy with that. My head, I don't know what to do. We have Raiders playbook on. Raiders have won a Super Bowl. 
Packers playbook. They've made back-to-back, but I also have their picks, so I'm kind of sad. The freaking Falcons, Desmond Ritter just won MVP. Should I go their playbook? The Buccaneers was amazing last video. What do I do? I'm not going to... Actually, wait. Hold up. I got to give them their little recap. <laughs> Shout out to the Raiders winning the Super Bowl here 38-24, beating the Packers, the reigning champs. Super Bowl MVP is Derek Carr. Ooh, a little Devontae Adams revenge game kind of like you know what i mean but yeah i'm not gonna change playbooks i think we're just gonna go we're gonna go with it the whole next season and see how it does instead of like halfway through the season you know what i mean players to re-sign i'm not gonna lie i would love carl lawson back mm, he wants quite a hefty chunk of money i won't lie well up it a tiny bit I appreciate the offer but he's going to test out free agency unfortunately we only got him for two years but he's probably gonna be leaving us now Ashton Davis does not want to join back at all. But what if I give you a player friendly deal? Huh? What are you going to say then? What if I give you a five year deal? Nope. You know what? Whatever. Let's go to free agency. 35 mil. I'm also going to spend my staff points on the contract stuff. So let's get to work. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who do we got here? Nick freaking Bosa. Jay freaking Jetta. Justin freaking Herbert. What are these names? Oh my good. CD Lay. I kind of want Bosa. I'm not gonna lie, kinda, like, it, it, it's not that too unrealistic. You know, Robert Sala, he's familiar with the system. I might pull the trigger, you know, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <laughs> Jeremy Chin, 88 overall, Michael Pittman, Daniel Hunter's here, Russell freaking Wilson. I keep saying freaking because these players deserve the freaking tag. Wait, wait, can linemen, can linemen go up now? I, I swear Michael on when it isn't a superstar, right? But remember he finished number one? Can they actually go up now? Did EA take my O-line rule and give me no credit? <laughs> it's not that serious though. <laughs> Guys, I think I want to do it. I think I want to do it. It's honestly not the most unrealistic thing with Robert Salah here as well. Now, we he, his motivations, we, we're nothing. We're nothing, but I want you. I will pay you a lot of money, all right? That is a lot of money, but it, you are also Nick Bosa, so I don't care. I will even make it more. 188 mil for five we have nothing left though that's the problem i want to do it i want to do it so bad but we might just have too many i was only a star as well we might just have too many holes on the team like we definitely need a wide receiver three whether that's in the draft or in free agency we'll see and then defense i need maybe another outside linebacker but we probably will draft one lebron james is only a star in 69 we need two safeties dude not one we need two like LeBron said, not one, not two, not three, <laughs> not four, not five, not six. And I need another edge. So yeah, I, wow. Okay. It says teams interested. It says only one right now. So what if I just throw in a neutral deal, right? Nothing too crazy. It's yellow. You know, it's not the most money. We're tied with the Eagles right now. You know what? I'll, I'll just submit that. My God, remember me being confused about the names? Imagine we get John Johnson the third alongside Jermaine Johnson the second. Oh my, my head would explode. Not gonna lie, I really just want Ashton Davis back. He went up to superstar. He's been here for a while. I, 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 I want you. But look at the Browns. Absolutely. You know you're worth Ashton Davis. Come back. Come back to East Rutherford. That is just about all the money I have now. I mean, I, I could smash out some of those positions of need in the draft. I mean, I'm going big here. I'm going big for Nick Bosa, but I really think this could be worth it. If Carl Lawson is putting up 13 sacks and those good numbers, imagine what Nick Bosa is going to do here. He might put up 35, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, I should have evaluated. I should have evaluated. No, rookie mistake, rookie mistake. My signing's nothing. Okay, Nick Bosa luckily is still here. Ashton Davis, we're still good on. Evaluate. My left stick doesn't work. Evaluate. Bang. Where'd he go? No, he went to the freaking Eagles. He went to the freaking Eagles. But you know what? That's okay. But it's not okay. But it is okay because now we got the money again to do whatever we want with it. And Jetta is sitting here with zero teams interested. Wants 150. Should I just lowball? No, it's, I can't do that. I can't do that. I need an edge. Is Carl Lawson gone? He's gone too. Man. Shit, why does Montez Sweat have no offers? He does want a bit of money. I'm going to lower. He has no other offers. My guy, you are pinned to a corner. You take this or you get nothing. Try to sign Grant Delpit on a cheap deal here. He'd be a nice little free safety for us. Michael Pittman is also chilling here. He has zero teams interested for whatever reason. He actually is not asking for the, like, the craziest amount of money. He has interest in us too. We just we, we don't have money, bro. Could I potentially trade anybody and sit... Oh my God. I might trade Lake and Tomlinson too. And Uzoma. Okay, I might I might go crazy right here. And Jacob Martin, like get out of here. I really wish I saw that sooner. I really wish I did. 17 mil in savings we would get. Okay, we saw a double green there. We, there's actually a lot of double greens here. 
We can make some work. Cardinals, they were... Oh, the money's got to work, though. That's the problem. The Patriots, for whatever reason, have 71 mil in cap room and double interest here. There's actually very little teams that could actually even afford these guys, let alone 71 mil and double green interest. I know they're in our division, but I might just send them to them. Honestly, you can... Can I just get a third? Those are... They're still two good players. It's accepted. Get that money off me. And you can deal with them, Bill Belichick. You can deal with them. Oh, my... And now we... Oh, my God. I could have got Nick Bosa. I could, I don't, I don't even want to think about it now. I could have got Nick Bosa. Oh my God. I could have got Bosa and Pittman probably. Oh, that's so, that's so pain. I'm not going to go for Jetta just because I feel like that's a little too crazy, but I will happily go from, we have so much money now. It's awesome. It's awesome. I will go for Michael Pittman Jr. He does have interest in joining us. So MPJ, come on, baby, bro. That was actually an obscene amount of money. We just saved, dude. All right. I think I've looked through everything and I think these are, nope. These are the players we want. MPJ, Delpit, Sweat, Evaluate, Bang, Bang, if my left stick works, Bang. Montez Sweat's still here, but we get Michael Pittman Jr. We get Grant Delpit. Montez Sweat? I feel like, you know, I'm kind of debating this one. Mainly because I'm going to have to pay Zach Wilson soon. Even though he's been trash, I want to do this rebuild with him. And then, you know, we're going to get the Elijah Moores, the Sauce Gardners, all those guys as well. I think we might just look to draft an edge. And I think we just roll with what we have. Because what we have is honestly pretty good already. But we are offering him not even that much. Like, it's only three yellow bars there. Hmm. I just keep talking myself in and out, in and out, in and out. I'm hungry, bro. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to just try to lower it. I'm going to go team-friendly, two-year deal. Nothing too crazy here. It's literally red interest. If he joins, he joins. He still does not have any other bids, so there is a possibility. Let's go ahead and do the evaluate thingy. You know what I'm saying? Let me spam it because my left stick, bang, still does not have anything, and I think that's it, right? Yeah, three for three, but still no other offers. I guess we'll sim a week and find out. Montez, nobody wants you but me. Come where you are wanted. Last week in free agency. Free agency recap. Montez Sweat. Oh my god. Okay. I'll take that. On that deal, on only two years, I will take that. Ash and Davis, Grant Delpit, Montez Sweat, Michael Pippen, Jr. Bro, our team is crazy. Now we got some private workouts. Wow. Aiden Barden's round one to two going round two to three. That's nice. I'm tempted to use my private workout on this guy. I just want to see what overall he is. He looks so good. Ooh, Emilio Ruiz, round one. Nice. Greg Walton, have a day. Elite, elite, elite. Actually, wait, you know what I'm forgetting as well? I had five wins. We're going to have a really good traffic, if not number four, seven. Dang, all the way down at seven with five wins. I did also private work out that tight end. If he, okay, he's only round one or two. If he was top five, I might have chosen him. <laughs> nice, nice, very nice. Look at Greg Wallen though. Round one and two, okay. Bro, I can get a banger. I've picked seven. Like, we get one of these top Donnies, you know. I might mess around and take Quentin Ryans, bro. I swear, Zach Wilson's been booty. So we have picked seven, 31, 39, 71, and 79 from the, from the Patriots. Guys, I think I'm gonna trade up because this corner that we saw earlier, he looks generational. I'm not gonna lie, it's not our biggest need. It's just best player, and I think he might be the best player in this class. He looks unreal. He's a zone archetype. We can see he's got A zone. His ratings are elite acceleration, elite change of direction, elite speed. He killed the combine. The for the, the 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 what am I saying? The the lowest the lowest he placed <laughs> was fourth in the three cone drill and vertical jump. Mike Landry, if we can just get him, DJ Reed, Sauce Gardner, Bryce Hall. I mean, that is a deadly, deadly second duo. Se secondary i haven't gotten a superstar or better in on madden 23 yet so i would love to do it for this video we got so many draft picks we just don't need i picked 31 we could easily go with one of the outside linebackers around. i'll give you the patriots pick is that enough to move up to two it is it is nice and we are now at pick number two and we have a generational cornerback here to pair alongside sauce gardner is it ever going to pop up? Mike Landry, the USC corner. He's unlike anything we've seen in the last decade in terms of cornerback prospects. The man is just simply different. He's coming to a team that's ready to compete next season. And he will be a massive reason why. 96 speed, 94 acceleration, hidden development, and please be superstar or better please. And I did that because now we can sim to pick number 31 and we should still have Emilio Ruiz here, which is another position in need at outside linebacker after trading away CJ Mosley. 
We need somebody alongside Tremaine Edmonds, and the Ruiz just looks like him. Absolutely. A pursuit, a tackle, a zone, physical skills, elite acceleration. Unbelievable, unbelievable player out of Oklahoma, I believe. 21 years of age. Bang. Hidden development. We're going crazy this draft, boys. We're going crazy this draft. Oh, yeah, and guess what? We have pick seven in the second round, too. And with this pick, I'm going to go Craig Walton, who we looked at earlier. Looks insane. A zone, A pursuit, insane physicals with elite acceleration, agility, change of direction, killed the combine as a whole. Make it three, four, three. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my God. Now the only way to top off this draft is if that tight end that I had is still available at round three. Please, my boy Aiden, I don't remember his name. He is God, no. Ruben Flowers, defensive tackle here out of the U. A to C block shot, A finesse moves. Now his power moves could use a little bit of work, not gonna lie, but B tackling as well. I think we, oh, actually some really good ratings too. And a combine. We just need some depth at defensive tackle. So I'm gonna go ahead and go my boy Ruben Flowers. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. We are killing it this draft. Now that draft right there was just as good, if not even better, than the Jets 2020. I told y'all. I told you guys. I told you guys. He was generational. 81 overall. He better be the highest rated guy in the class. He better be. 81 overall with those stats. 82 zone, 79 man. Remember his man was like B to D, so it was kind of a question mark. And it is right up there with his zone. Oh my, this guy is actually unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ruiz, 75 overall. Walton, 72. Flowers, 72. We even got Brett Shepard later on at a 69 overall, you know. He better be. He better be the highest rated player. We chose him at number two as well, and he is. And by a long margin, this is what I was looking for. I was looking for one of these nice tight ends later on in the draft. This guy went in the end of the second round. He's only normal, to be fair, but he is 79 overall. Out of Penn State. Who is a Penn... Um, what's his name? Mike Zicky. Mike Zicky. Shout out, Mike <laughs> Where is the tight end I wanted, though? It was like round three? This guy, Aiden Barden, 73 overall, went to the Bears, pick number one. <laughs> Man, that would have topped off this draft. Actually, I did get that defensive tackle that was still hit in development, so it's not the end of the world, but Aiden Barden, star. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, this class was kind of trash besides, you know, <laughs> besides Mike Lander, you know, the next Darrell Rivas, who we got. Class is all right. No, it was trash. One of, I, I don't know. It was one of them. <laughs> Aiden White. Here's the tight end that went number seven, who we saw. Didn't look too crazy. Well, he looked crazy, but we knew his rating was a round one to two, and he's only star. So that so Aiden Barton in the third round was similar value or similar stature. I am. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Year three now. We killed it in the offseason, and we killed it in the draft. Zach Wilson, please. Please, we gotta get to the playoffs, my guy. He hasn't really developed too much, still only an 80 overall. However, the pieces around him, we got an 87 Brees Hall now, an 88 Michael Pittman, an 84 Garrett Wilson, 87 Elijah Moore. The offensive line is unbelievably good. All stars all around, lovely stuff. The defense, the defense, the defense. We did lose Carl Lawson, but guess what we brought in Montez Sweat. Tremaine Edmonds is here, 91, superstar. Look at these outside linebackers. Hidden Dev, they're hungry, they're ready. Mike Landry, I got 88 staff points. You guys know what to do. We're going to use 50 of them to reveal his hidden development trait. And let's go see. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Landry, generational corner. We traded up for him because I knew he'd be worth it. I knew he would be the best player in the draft class. I haven't gotten a superstar yet this season or this season, this year. I haven't got a superstar X Factor. Could he be the first one? Superstar. I wish he was x -fied. but I'll take a superstar all day. And because of that, we're making him CB1 immediately. Him and Sauce Gardner play the clip. The wide receivers are saying, what? And now heading into midseason, we kept the playbooks. Raiders, Ravens, this time for the full season. We are going to be... Two? Why? Why? And the Dolphins are 6-1. and one. The Bills are 5-1. and one. Oh, my God. And we have to re-sign Sam Byrne, bro. I don't know if I got that money. Elijah Moore is here, though. Does he want to re-sign? Absolutely not. DJ, I don't care about DJ Reed. <laughs> AVT doesn't want to re-sign, though. That's lovely. Zach Wilson is here, and I, I don't really know. I think he's just... He's been a little sidetracked by all the hot moms. We do have a ton of money, though. About 75 mil, so we should be able to get some people back. AVT, let's go. And Zach Wilson and Elijah Moore. I'm just going to wait on them. I'm going to wait on them, and we'll see, man. If we don't make the playoffs this season... 
I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. And we, we lose 25-24 to the Cardinals. Beat the Colts, though. 31-21. Week 10 against the Texans. Has to be a W, and it is. There we go. The Do what are the Dolphins doing? They're in one. And it's with two. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Focus players. And don't think I won't hesitate to throw it on a QB, bro. QBs are kind of trash in this class, though. Last year, they were so good. This year, no. Holy. Round three to four tight end. Round one talent. Round three to four. Round one to two talent. Another one. You know, tight ends are crazy in Madden 23, bro. I'm putting it on the QB and two wide receivers. And we are going straight to the playoffs. If I don't make it here, I might have to change up some stuff, man. Because there's no excuses anymore. The playbooks are changed. Everything. The team is crazy. And we still go 7 and 10. Wow. Wow. Taylor Heineke just put up 52 touchdowns on I, I know where he's at stats and awards 15th and offensive yards Zach Wilson over 5k yards to be fair defense 14th so around mid middle of the table there 5,000 yards 35 touchdowns which is nice 16 picks still a bit I just don't know if we can really pay him he does have the franchise QB tag now though Brees Hall another solid season almost 1200 yards 4.2 a carry 15 touchdowns that's pretty much his regular stats now and Michael Pittman in his first year on the Jets 1500 yards Nine touchdowns. Elijah Moore, almost 1,400 yards. Ten touchdowns. Conklin, decent. Garrett Wilson has been kind of mid. I'm not going to lie. I know he's wide receiver three now, but even when he was wide receiver two, he was not putting up good numbers. Rain Edmonds, 123 tackles for him. I actually didn't even go check out the Devies. Jermaine Johnson, 12 sacks. Montez Sweat, 10 and a half. 17 tackle for losses for the both of them as well. Interceptions, Bryce Hall, four. My boy Walton with three. Same with DJ Reed. Edmonds, Delpit. This guy... Ruiz is Eagles playbook the one bro Ta Taylor Heineke just won MVP and he is 70 overall and they went 12 and 5 what in the heck does he just have some ability let's like just, he's him I don't know what to do now I don't know what to do now I really don't Craig Walton defensive rookie of the year and once again just nothing and why would there be why would there be we were we were trash the problem I have is I just, I want to do it with Zach Wilson. That's the problem. Now I have to pay him. It's kind of a problem. You know what I mean? Offensively, still not one upgrade over here. I don't think I've gotten one Devi. This in... Is Rodrigo Blankenship a superstar? No, he wasn't. Did he go up? Okay, Rodrigo Blankenship is a superstar, I guess. But yeah, we haven't gotten one development trait on offense. Actually, how did Michael Pittman not go up? It was a ridiculous year. 1,500 yards defensively should see some was he was he x factor i just got an achievement i don't know what it was i'm actually very curious i don't know why but i'm very curious to see what it was what is it this reveal a rookie's x factor potential that's my first x factor craig walton who was going like round two to three Wins defensive rookie of the year, comes out as X Factor, 80 overall already. This whole time, we were drooling, we were fantasizing, we were super. Oh wait, Bryce Hall went up to uh, superstar. Shout out to him. We were just very happy. Why is he? Why is he CB4? We were all over Mike Landry to be the guy, the generational guy. But at the end of the day, it was Craig Walton. Wow. On the real though, look at this defense, bro. Why 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 are we 7 and 10? Like seriously. Wait, Tremaine Ed okay, whatever, bro. <laughs> the Seahawks win the Super Bowl here, beating the Colts 23-15. Do you see that? <laughs> Super Bowl MVP. Carl Lawson. Carl Lawson. You know what though? I don't care. I don't care. We have Craig. Look, did you hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you see that? Did you see that? Please load. Offense, 92. Defense, 90. Overall, 90 overall team. And we go 7 and 10. We go 7 and 10. But you know what? We're signing the boys back. We're signing the boys back because there is just... I want to do it with Zach Wilson. And next season, it's going to be different. Trust me. We're going Bucks playbook and things are going to be crazy. Zach, I'm banning moms from you. If uh, That doesn't even make... You know, I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I've lost the plot. Elijah Moore, I don't care. We have a ton of money. I don't care. We do not care. You can have whatever you want. Thank you. DJ Reed, goodbye.
Goodbye. Conklin, see you never. Michael Carter, the other one's better anyway. CJ Uzoma, I got a guy in round three to four that's better than you. Okay, low key, we got a ton of money. We actually <laughs> signed Zach Wilson and Elijah Moore back, and I still got 46 mil to spend. We did lose a few pieces here and there, but we could go, oh my God, we could go crazy here. I'm not going to lie. We could go crazy. Trevor, Lo why? Why is Trevor offensively? I mean, we need a tight end. I want to draft a tight end. Do I just sign Kyle Pitts? I don't know. You know what I mean? But we we look good on offense. If, if this guy does something defensively, maybe, I mean, we even got this Fowler guy we drafted as a CB4 who's pretty decent. I don't need, what do I even need? Maybe a better safety? Like, yeah, Ashton Davis is an X-Factor, but he's only 80 overall. Maybe another cornerback, maybe just some defensive line depth. Oh, we need a punter, and we need a punter bad. Who's the best punter available? Trezway. Which way? He's 35, though. Jack Fox is it. Seven-year deal. I am so unbelievably tempted, but I'm, I'm not going to do it. That That's going a little too off the rails. <laughs> and I've already gone off the rails quite a bit. Micah Parsons only wants 20.4 mil a year. That is a steal. <laughs> Jonathan Grenard, team-friendly deal. Just a one-year deal. He's really interested in joining us, and as a backup would be amazing. Grenard, Jack Fox, John New Smith, nothing too crazy here. Could have gone crazy. Yes, Kyle Pitts is there. Micah Parsons is there. But I think our team is just there. The chemistry is all there. Can you people join? No, no way. I'm getting outbid on Jack Fox. Team friendly deal, Jack Fox. What do you say? And the last evaluation. Jack Fox? Jack Fox, you, <laughs> you little snake. Grenard's being stingy. I actually need a punter, though. You know what? Tresway's still here. Grenard, Tresway, let's go. Three for three, baby. Three for three. I, I don't even know what I'm looking for in the draft, to be honest with you. Pick number 10 here. I think I'm going to go with Jimmy Petway. He is a cornerback, but he is only 5'9". He's really good zone coverage as well, so we might be able to move him back to safety, and he could do a job over there. He's got elite acceleration, everything else there. Pretty good, pretty good, but his ratings look quite decent. Look quite decent, so I think he's going to be my guy out of Maryland and in development as well. We've got a lot of hiddens in this video, which is something I'm happy about. One of the one of the very few. Round two pick, Gerald, Gerald Devens. Middle linebacker, Colorado, 6'3", field general. Looks pretty decent. Could be just a nice depth piece for our linebacking group. This is this is a, an amazing drafting video. Everything else, not, not so much. Not so much, unfortunately. <laughs> and now you're telling me in round three, I'm going to have the choice to take any one of these tight ends that looks so nice. Dom Aldrich, round one to two talent. Miles Mahon, round one to two talent. Julian Bain, round two one talent going in day three projection out of florida literally is the next kyle pitts can't run deep though he cannot run deep but you know what that's okay because you look insane we know you're around one talent and we know that you're a blue question mark three for three. Oh my goodness dude <laughs> please win a super bowl please 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 boys we're going crazy in drafting i won't even lie let's see the draft recap here 74 72 75 is julian bain but we did know that got me a nice little running back later on as well not a bad draft just skim the class real quick the cardinals got the number one overall pick they've been really bad in this video right tackle 79 number one overall pick he looks crazy and he is over he sucks and in another world i would have chosen this qb because things are just not i'm glad i'm in the other world and we stuck with zach wilson but am i you know what i mean <laughs> boys and girls we are into year four not one not one playoff appearance yet am i washed maybe maybe but we still got two years left at the very why is he at fullback still got about two years left potentially three if i don't make it then this, I feel like we've all built an awesome team. I guess, yeah, let's make Petway a 2A free safety, and he doesn't go up or down in rating. Stays at a 74. We got Devens now. We know Craig Walton is that guy now. Superstar X Factor, 82 overall. Mike Landry, I'm sorry, Sauce. Mike's got to be CB2. He just has to be. The D-line still looks great. The offense, we just need Zach Wilson to just have a good year. You got your boy Bay now, who you wanted. You were crying for in the draft. I drafted him for you. Please. Come, bring it home. Bring it home. Mid-season is just about here. And I'm expecting at least above 500. And we're 4-3. and three. However, the Patriots are 7-0. Oh, 7-0. and oh. Seven and oh. Also got some Devies to check out the tight end. No way. Bro. I have drafted two X factors in this video and both of them were projected like round two to three, round three to four. Julian, Julian Bain, superstar X factor tight end. 
I literally said he was the next Kyle Pitts, and I know out of Florida as well. It just made too much sense. Oh my goodness, who else did we have? We had Petway, probably didn't get his yet. He did not. Oh my goodness, dude. Please, 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 please. We have been drafting like a madman. I gotta win the Super Bowl, man. I wish I revealed him, though. That would have made it much more fun. Brees Hall is now here. Montez Sweat, Garrett Wilson, John Franklin Meyer, Sauce Gardner, Jermaine Johnson. <sighs> Brees Hall, little to no interest in rejoining us. 92 overall. You need to do more to convince me the team is right. You know what? I don't blame you. I really don't. Garrett Wilson, I just don't know if we can pay another receiver. We're already paying Elijah Moore. We're already paying Michael Pittman now. Sweat, Sauce, John Franklin. My, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. And we'll just we'll see how we do at the end of the season. Come playoff time. I'm just praying we make it. Week 18. Bye week. Bye week. Wild card. What's going on? Where did I finish? View standings. Uh, AFC East. Bro, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. We were four and three in midseason. So what? We went two and seven. And now I feel like everybody in this division has been flip flopping for first place. It was the Dolphins last year. It's probably been the Bills. It's been the Patriots now. It's never us though. It's never us though, is it? I actually don't know what to do though. I don't. Is it just Zach Wilson? Eight, eighth. Eighth in offensive yards. 5,400 yards. Eighth. What, what happened to the defense? I didn't change anything on the defense. 5,400, 33, 13. Honestly, not a bad year. His best year yet for us. For sure. Brees Hall, once again, probably his best year for us. Five of carries. So now the offense picked it up and the defense just said no. Nah. No, nah, Elijah Moore, 1,600 yards, 14 touchdowns. Garrett Wilson finally went crazy. Pittman did his thing. Bane, the superstar X-Factor, had a good year one as well. But now the defense said, never mind. They just said, never mind. Quinn Williams, Montez Sweat, 21 TFLs, 11 and a half sacks for Jermaine Johnson. Interceptions, three for Tremaine Edmonds, two for Walton. I, I don't know. <laughs> MVP is for, okay. You know what? Maybe we just go safe and go. Chiefs. They just went 17 and 0. I gotta do it. I gotta do it now. Hold up. What in the world? Michael Thomas is on the Chiefs. CeeDee Lamb's on the Colts. Devontae Smith is on the Broncos. <laughs> Everything just looks crazy now. But you know something that hasn't changed? Us sucking. That hasn't changed. We're in year four and I still haven't made the playoffs. I don't know how I haven't with this squad. Shout out Elijah Moore for going to Superstar finally. The first Devi that we have gone on the offensive side of the ball. Nothing else though. Defensively, Montez Sweat, nice. Bryce Hall, Bryce Hall, Bryce Hall went down. Petway's only a star. Divins is only a star. I, as a coach, am normal development. But like, I don't know what, like, like load up. Look at this. What, what do I do? What do I do? 94 overall, 95 offense, 93 defense. It's been an awesome drafting video. I feel like we've done some smart moves in free agency. We just can't win. <laughs> and the Raiders are here again, whose playbook I did use. And you know which playbook I'm using now? The Buccaneers. And they're here as well. Tell you what, though. The offense actually wasn't too bad. I don't know what defense to do though players ready to renegotiate and this might be tough we do have a ton of money i honestly just want to run it back even <laughs> even though we suck man I, I love this team we've built like this has been awesome this has been awesome we just can't win for some reason i don't know we have 96 mil i want to spend all of it and get everybody back because I, I want this team i'm just going to change the playbooks <laughs> and see and pray that hopefully it's good Brees hall 94 overall okay i just gave him so much money and he does not care montez sweat Player friendly, 12 mil, 12.5 bonus. He doesn't care. And I don't blame him. Garrett Wilson actually has some interest in rejoining us, though. We're paying so many receivers, but guess what? I don't care. I don't care now. Still 82 mil as well. Sauce, player friendly money to set you up in your future. Okay, you don't even, you don't care either. Jermaine Johnson, who's actually been quite good. This video, definitely somebody I've seen stand out. The offer is perfect. You're perfect. Saw, sweat, or haul to, for the franchise tag. I think I do Brees Hall. He's, he's 94 overall. He's the highest overall there. I'm going to tag him. For agency, 52 mil to spend. I might spend it on some of the best players here. Jamin <laughs> Ramsey's here. There are 499 overalls here. McLaurin, Ramsey, McCaffrey, Kamara. And honestly, I might need all four of them to win. <laughs> Ikka McQuanu, Evan Neal. Holy. 
Linderbaum superstar. Bro, Super Bowl chase, we're underdogs. I don't under we have a 95 overall squad, bro. I don't understand. Deron Payne, Sauce Gardner, Jonathan Grenard. Those are the three guys I want. Those are the three guys we can hopefully get. They're all gone out of here, which means they're in my signings, right? Only, only Jonathan Grenard. Seahawks, Sauce, Seahawks. Deron Payne, Deron Payne, Deron Payne, Chicago Bears. I'm now going in for Devontae Wyatt. I gave him literally all the money in the world. And he's still, now I'm getting. I gave him a very player-friendly deal, and I'm getting overtaken by that much? I guess he just has, he, he, he probably just has interest in them. <laughs> Is this dude wearing a beanie in his picture? <laughs> you know what? Just for that, I'm signing him. Tyson Campbell, Drake Jackson, depth pieces, evaluate number three. Tyson Campbell's still here. I didn't even get Drake Jackson. Oh my god, we are so washed, boys. <laughs> I think we got Tyson Campbell. I don't even know. I'm just going to the scout focus players. Najee Beard. Elite acceleration. Great agility. Elite change of direction. Jumping speed. Gr strength. All great. Crazy combines. Skill wise. B to D finesse moves. Power moves are a B. A awareness. A play rec. This is the number two guy in the class. Out of Oregon. Next cave on Thibodeau. He could be similar to my boy Landry. As in, we might trade up and get him. Because I need an edge now after losing Montez Sweat. Actually, I need... Uh, I don't know. Elite acceleration, speed, strength for the number one guy in the class. George Sapp. Unbelievable player. B to D finesse moves. A to C power moves. I'm going to private work out the both of them. We have pick number 13. I'm simming in pick number two. If that other... That was him. I thought that we were going to go with the Sapp guy. Because he was the number one guy in the class. Oh, I am so troubled right now. Do I trade up for George Sapp now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trading up for Sapp. I don't care anymore. We're in year five. This is the last year, probably. Niners pick number two, by the way. So things did not work out over here, I guess. Trey Lance, 86 overall. I mean, if you're pick number two, you probably weren't too great, right? All right. I'll give you 13 and 10 next year potentially have fun have fun and we're gonna take sap george sap he's my last savior in this rebuild honestly out of ohio state an ohio state edge rusher is something you love to see nick bosa chase young joey bosa the list goes on and on and on and george sap is that next guy up 66 251 hidden development crazy athletic ratings I'm revealing him right away when we get to next year. Round two, and I'm all I'm looking for is the best looking cornerback, and we're good. This guy, J Jaleel Weston, looks decent, you know, out of Florida as well. Really good ratings there, physical. But actually, he's projected un. I don't care. I don't. Care. Projected undrafted, and we're still hidden. This has been the dr best drafting video ever, but everything else, it's been the worst, man. <laughs> Recap real quick 77, George Sapp, love it. Weston 70, that's fine. You know who I have to check out though? The freaking, the nausea dude, the first guy that went, the guy I wanted. Okay, to be fair, Sapp is a higher overall. He's 76, he is hidden. This is the main thing, nausea beard, superstar. You know what? That's fine, as long as it's not X Factor. Hold up, 80, oh my good god. 84 overall running back at number five holy crap joshua barrett goes to the broncos at number five as well that is cr oh my goodness oh my when am i gonna get that wow i mean i'm never gonna choose a running back number five though that's the problem wait i don't even have staff points to review okay whatever <laughs> Dawson, hold up. Dawson Knox is a 95 X factor. It's come to this tampa bay offense kansas city defense this is year five Still, no playoff appearance with a 91 overall squad, 95 offense. There are no, there's nothing else I can even say anymore. This is the offense. This is a D, this is the defense. George Sapp will be starting at right end. Take a quick gander, pause the video if you may like, because I'm going straight to the playoffs. No if, ands, or buts. This is all or nothing. Week 18, I don't even want to look. I really don't. We're in. We actually made it. 11 and 6. Oh. And we lose lo <laughs> the first round to the Patriots. We, uh, I, I, I was going to end the video straight away if I didn't make it. But you know what? Since we made it, I might as well go over some stuff. Six in offensive yards. Zach Wilson turned it up, finally. Defensively fourth. 
I couldn't do I go year six do I guys this video if you're still here shout out to you this video we are I'm four hours into this video <laughs> I am dead and I am sad that this has turned out like this, but the drafting has been awesome. So like that much I'm so happy about. Oh my god, Brees Hall. Hold up. Zach Wilson, 5,300, 42 and 15. Why does he always throw like 15 picks? Always. 42 touchdowns though. Shout out to you. Brees Hall was unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's why I franchise tagged you. Receiving wise, Elijah Moore, I mean, good God, 1,700 yards, 16 tutties. Garrett Wilson, Pittman, Pittman did nothing this year. Blaine or Bain, whatever your name is. I need more. Ah, do I? I mean, we have everything else is getting vultured. <laughs> Defensively, Edmonds again, of course. I mean, her stats were so good this year. Grenard, 14 and a half sacks. Quinny Williams, 10. Jermaine Johnson, 9. Picks, 4. Ashton Davis, 2 for Tremaine and Bryce Hall. I'm going one more year, bro. But that is literally it. And I didn't even go check. I don't know. I've lost it. The Devies, Zach Wilson, please. How does Elijah Morgan not go up? I don't know. I don't know. Bain is up to a 91 already, though. Elijah Moore is 97. Brees Hall is 99. By the way, I simmed the postseason, so I don't even I don't even know the contracts that have even happened. Um Brees Hall. I mean nothing. I don't think we got anything here. Sap is still hit. How did he not get it? I thought I started him. He's not even close. 189. We're just going to check him out right now then. How did he? I, I started him at rush right in. I started him at right in. George Sapp. I'm going into the year. Oh my God. Three X factors. Three freaking X factors. What in the world? Grenard, I'm, I know you had a great year, but I'm sorry. Sapp has to play, bro. He has to play. MVP is Burrow. Cool. Elijah Moore, best wide receiver. Nice. Wait. Why am I checking Debbie's? I wasn't even in Super Bowl weekend. Oh my God. I am so lost in the head right now, bro. Quincy Williams, this is all your fault. <laughs> oh, I was looking at Debbie's and complaining, and I wasn't even at Super Bowl week yet. All right, all right. Elijah Moore now 100%. Zach Wilson also up to superstar. Lovely, lovely sounds there. It's about time we get to hear those sounds, right? Ain't hearing none of that over here, though. <laughs> oh, Grenard. Shout out, shout out, Grenard. <laughs> Weston, I'm checking you. I don't care anymore. What are you? 417 stat dude this is literally the craziest drafting i've ever seen please zach wilson please next year browns beat the cowboys in super bowl 31 14 what is this madden 21 super bowl mvp i'm, I'm not even gonna say his name here's the scary part though players ready to negotiate because i i simmed everything so Brees hall tremaine edmonds mike lowry coleman davis delpit that's actually, it's not too bad. We got 76 mil too. Donovan Bobo. <laughs> Brees Hall, please. Very, very player friendly. Seven year deal. $80 million as a 26 year old running back. Oh my God. You want Zach Wilson to find some hot moms for you? Okay, Tremaine Edmonds luckily at least wants to stay here. He has very high interest, so he should stay. Yes, sir. Dude, Lowry and Coleman are actually awesome. 89, 88 overall. Now I want them both back. Lowry doesn't want me back though. <laughs> no, very player friendly then. Oh. Coleman wants to stay. Let's do player friendly. Make offer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Terrence Fowler wants literally nothing. He's been my guy. Drafted him like round two. Or actually, uh, yeah, he can just be CB4 here. Yeah, sure. Ashton Davis is just, he's been cool. This video, he's like X Factor 86 overall now. If he, He's actually back. I didn't think he'd join back, but welcome back. Um, I'm I'm tagging Brees Hall again. I don't care. 16 mil. We got about 9.5 mil. Let's see what we can do. I'm so deep into this now that auto-generated players are in free agency. Xavier McKinney, have my kids. Literally have my kids. Come on. Targeted. Eval. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Draft time. Starting the I I don't have my- I traded my first round pick last year. Oh my god. This is a mess. This is a mess. Ooh, I just simmed to the end. I meant to go to the side. Whatever, man. Whatever. It's, I don't need anything. I don't need anything. Oh my- Look. Look. Look at that. Look, if we get to the playoffs, I'm hopping in. I'm literally hopping in. I can't. Why am I even checking this? Holy crap, this guy looks nice. This is Xavier McKinney's brother. Okay, never mind, he sucks. I just want to check out the class. I just want to check out the class. 80 overall running back. Boring. Another running back. Boring. All right, go. We're round five guard, though. <laughs> We're in year six. Don't do it, Madden. Don't do it. Uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Year number six. Six. I need two hands. I need two hands, and all I know is... This squad is awesome. I mean, let's be real. It's been an awesome rebuild. 95. We have a 99 offense, man. I mean, what more can you ask for a 99 offense? I mean, ev literally, ev what's our lowest position? And fullback doesn't count. What, an, an 89 center. That's the lowest rating we have on offense. Sap has to start. 
has to start. X Factor, Landry's there, nice. We got freaking Weston, who's a superstar as well. Walton's up to a 92 now. I mean, come on. Quinnen's a 90. How has he not gone up to superstar, by the way? I don't know. Xavier McKinney's now at 89. I'm doing the same thing I did last year. We're going straight to the offs and just praying. Just praying. Week 18, playoff time, 12-5, and 5, our best record. Yeah, let's go. And Zach Wilson is the passing leader as well. Oh, my goodness. Elijah Moore's in there, too. Holy crap, they put up his some historic numbers. It's about time, boys. It's about time. First. First. Oh my god, Zach Wilson went crazy. Defensively ninth, you know, that's still absolutely fine with me. Zach Wilson, almost 6,000 yards, 52 touchdowns. He's still, like I said, he's, oh, he always gets around 15 picks. 14 this year is better than usual. Brees Hall was unbelievable with 18 touchdowns, 1,500 yards, over 5.5 a carry. Oh my goodness. Elijah Moore, spectacular year. 18 touchdowns, 1,700 yards. Pittman, almost 1,500 yards. Garrett Wilson, 14 touchdowns, almost 11 100 yards bane almost a thousand yards and double digit touchdowns to almost four receivers over a thousand yards defensively tremaine edmonds of course leads the way for tackles made quinnon 19 sacks but or no 19 tackle for losses but 18 sacks where is sap two sacks all right yeah whatever four mike landry let's go baby come on we are hopping and i can't take this anymore <laughs> why do they camara cup who is that luke harris sim to the end of game come on boys first touchdown right out the gate that's what i'm talking about another touchdown this is this might be the year no why are we giving up touchdowns score again 17 10 point lead end of the half end it strong end it strong 24 7 second half 14 24 10 point game heading into the fourth quarter and no, all this should be wraps this should be wraps there's no way our defense get our offense too good 38 points 38 points here we go here we go here we go trevor Lord, what is going on <laughs> divisional round the raiders let's get into it baby let's go another game at mount life we are in our home territory and we score the first touchdown of the game they get a field goal we get a touchdown right back that's how we answer oh my god this offense is actually nuts now it's 99 overall for a reason right 28 points in the first half are you kidding me 31 i think we're good 34 yeah we're good we're absolutely good we're going to the conference Chip. Did we just... Oh. <laughs> what just happened? 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 Yes, look, look, look. Look at the fourth quarter. Look at... I should have hopped in. I should have. Well, I didn't. I didn't expect twenty-seven to three. By the way, I didn't expect to give up twenty-seven points. Wait, when did they even score? Because I swear that was like last second, bro. Did it go to OT? When did they score? One minute and twenty-three left. Oh my God! I mean, Zach Wilson and Derek Carr both had amazing, amazing games. Brees Hall was kind of mid. Not gonna lie. Devonte Adams is still here, bro. Did we really just? We really just choked that. 27-3 in the fourth quarter. Honestly, that just sums up this video, honestly. <laughs> it just wasn't meant to be, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. 99 offense, 95 defense, 97 overall team. I genuinely think this is the best team I've ever built. This is one of the best drafts I've ever built. The Raiders make another Super Bowl, bro. They're actually nuts. Maybe I should have just stuck with their playbook. How does Zach Wilson not win MVP? Player... Hot Mom Master Coach of the Year. I mean, I guess I'll take that. But yeah, that's that's going to be the end of the video. Six seasons in, we made a kind of a deep playoff run. Not really <laughs> this last year. Blew a 27-3 fourth quarter. Shout out Zach Wilson for going up to X Factor. Anything else on defense? Quinn Williams finally goes up. That's lovely to see. Ash Davis went down. Sap is still X Factor, but just cannot start over Jonathan Grenard for some reason. I don't know. I don't really know. Like, was it just Zach Wilson or like, I, I don't know. Cause I changed all the playbooks. I did everything necessary. He was just, he was so bad for these first like four years. Like he did nothing, he did nothing. But these last two years, he really did show up, put up some phenomenal numbers. I mean, he did put up good stats still, but we just, they never, they never 
correlated to wins. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Brees Hall was amazing, 99 overall. Put up amazing stats almost every single year. Don't know how he never went up to superstar. Elijah Moore was so sick though. Up to a 99 overall now, and I mean every single, he put up a thousand plus yards every single year. In these last three years, over 1,600 yards, over 14 touchdowns. He is wide receiver one in the league at this time. Wow. MPJ, we brought in, he was pretty good. Garrett Wilson had a very slow start, but ended up developing into a 94 overall. I mean, how can I complain as my wide receiver three? Bane, Bane, Julian Bane, Julian Bane. 99 overall, 24 years old in his third year out of Florida. Superstar X Factor that we drafted in round three, round four. I don't even know, but incredible. I wish I could have got more time with him, honestly. But I'm sick of the time I've had with him, to be honest. <laughs> Elton Jenkins, we brought in so early. AVT, everybody on the online is above 92 rated. Coleman Lowry, we both drafted. Makai Becton developed into the superstar we know he could become as well. Jermaine Johnson, 91. Flowers, who we drafted, 86. Quinn in 99, superstar. Grenard, shout out to him. Shout out to Sap, who we also drafted. X Factor. Landry, generational type cornerback, came out as a superstar. 81 overall, one of my best players I've drafted. Flowers, Bryce Hall, nice development. Weston, who we drafted, like, wasn't he like round three? Wasn't he like projected undrafted? I don't even know. Or no, was it Divins? I don't know, dude. We drafted so many players. <laughs> McKitty, Ashton Davis developed like a beast. Craig Walton was my very first X Factor in Madden 23. And I ended up getting two more in this video, which was awesome. Ruiz was great. Edmonds was great. End of the day, I'm happy. Look, right, we got three X Factors. We banged out in the draft. We built an insane squad. And unfortunately, we just couldn't get the job done. I wasn't really sure what I could have done. But in the end, we blew a 27 3 lead in the fourth quarter. And that pretty much sums up this reboot. If you guys made it here, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you made it here. Um, peace out, boys. Thank you for watching. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm